Hi, so the last chapter we're going to look at is basic wrestling counters. So the reason to have good wrestling counters um, is simply for the fact that if we are playing top, one of the biggest positions or dilemmas we can find ourselves in is a wrestle-up scenario. Okay, so obviously we've looked at countering a sweep, but if we look at countering a wrestle-up now, uh, it wouldn't matter if he wrestled up or if he just wrestled in. Either way, the counters are going to be very, very similar. Okay, so basically this, this one we're going to look at when our partner gets to the single leg position. Okay, so initially in a single leg position, what we want to try and do, again, is transfer weight. So we actually want as much weight through our opponent as we can. All right, so the basic arm positions we're going to look at. So we're going to look at the, the whizzer, the stop back exposure, and basically starting to lift the elbow on the far side. So if I manage to get hold of my part like this and blanket over them, now I need to transfer weight from my foot through my hip to my partner. So I have to start trying to make my hip heavy. What you don't want is you don't want the leg that's being elevated to be light. You don't want to keep your weight back here and allow them to move you around freely. So when Jamie's on the single, I'm going to start trying to blanket over him and push and transfer weight from my hip into him. Now what I'm going to do from this position is I'm going to start trying to come after the arms, the elbows, and start trying to lift them away from the person. Okay? Scooping the head, lifting the head um, will come next. Okay? But if we can get hold of the elbows and lift the elbows or move the arms, then what it will allow us to do is we need to try and think that if he's holding my leg, I want to try and like push my leg through where I'm trying to get my toes to the mat generating from my hip. So I'm trying to slide through this single leg so his single leg gets forced higher up my leg. The more I can get my foot to the mat means there's more weight being transferred into my leg here. So for example, if Jamie was seated and he wrestled up into a single leg, at all times, I want to try and keep my toes on the mat. So if Jamie keeps coming up here, I want to try and peel and keep my hip driving through where my foot lock is always on the mat. I don't want to allow the transfer to my secondary leg. I don't want to allow that ever. So from this position, I can peel the arms, scoop, and then start to get my underhook and start to counter wrestle. Okay, now we're not doing takedowns. This is all about trying to stop his initial attack. Okay, so the second option we have when they go single leg is if I can't get my foot to the mat, I generate weight, and now I can look to counter attack on whether it be submissions or any submissions we've done. So you can imagine from this position, I actually could loop the leg to the outside and go towards my omoplata. I could scoop the head and go front headlock, or I can come to the far side and go Kimura. Whichever one we go for, we just think of it the same as we thought about sweeping options. So one of the best ways to be a good top player, if you used to be a guard player, is to think of all scenarios where you would, what would you do if you were in guard? So if Jamie gets a good single leg and I manage to fight the wrestle and he starts to pick it up again, I'm going to immediately transfer to a threat. I need them to be on the back foot. Now, if we cannot get any one of these options, we're going to be back to wrestle counter options, which means attacking him with a wrestling um, scramble or skirmish. Okay, So he comes in, I try to kick through the lift. Jamie manages to keep holding me and keep trying to pull that foot off the floor. I try to counter with the head or the hand. Okay, the Kimura, Omoplata, Guillotine. They're keeping everything tight and away from me. So now we need to try and wrestle them. So what I'm going to do from this position, instead of trying to get my hip through and my foot to the floor, I'm trying to think about stepping my foot behind my partner. Over here, okay, behind him. So as I do this, if I can't attack all this because it's tight, that means potentially he's not as upright or got the weight onto me as he should be. Okay, so if I'm trying to attack and I can't get hold of anything, look, I try to kick past my partner and now try to counter wrestle. Okay, this is one of the best options if they wrestle up. So if Jamie's on the floor like this, I'm trying to pass, and Jamie wrestles up here, kicking through my partner, imagine trying to kick behind them, is the best way to keep the weight down. Because that's what keeps the weight off this leg, is imagine I'm trying to step through, not step down. Because if Jamie wrestles up and I step down, I'd really focus on this when he manages 
to get his hips and knees behind his shoulders. See, now I need to keep this on the floor so I can counter-attack. If Jamie's still down, however, if I just keep continually thinking about Jamie trying to sit up, and I keep trying to think about stepping past and through his hip line. Yeah, so look, he tries to sit up. But if I get a hold of a counter grip, this is even better, because the foot elevator above the hip will stop him coming up completely. So the last thing on the single leg, if I'm here, he manages to sit me or start to get me to the mat, this is where I would look for my wrestler's switch as quick as possible. Okay, you just create this. You create an offensive cycle for yourself. You make them have to think and stop attacking. So I tried everything. I tried to keep them to the mat. I tried to get my foot down. I tried to lift them, try to attack my front headlock, my Kimura. But Jamie starts to sit me towards the mat. At this point here, I need to try and get my hand underneath the far leg. Because if I get my hand underneath the far leg, I can now sort of generate outward pressure and start to create my own wrestling scenario. Okay, so we can do this for as soon as they're on the leg and we lose and they start to sit us down. We can get underneath to catch hold. He sits me to the mat. I create my own wrestle scenario and now I get onto my own single leg. Okay. These are just ideas to start making you get the mindset of a top player over a guard player. Because if you notice there, I didn't want to sit to the mat, so I didn't want to be put on my back, and I didn't want to play guard. I didn't view it as I was playing guard when I was going for my front headlock, Kimura. I was looking at myself as a top player who wants to stay there.